Oh boy, a film forced on you by a door-to-door -door salesman. Okay, is this the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, or is this the 2002 TV series that was trying to be Buffy and Gotham? Wasn't William Finley the mad scientist from Nightmare Before Christmas? Among the birds of prey are the owls, the vultures, the eagles, and the hawk. Well, good night, everyone. Hawks and vultures are often seen soaring majestically high in the sky. The other two just tumble through the air awkwardly. All birds of prey are carnivorous. No, really? Other animals. The strong talons of hawks and owls help them to catch and to carry their prey. But you ask one to help you move and you'll just get a bunch of excuses. The birds of prey have hooked beaks that are well suited for tearing flesh. Or on a lazy night, opening a can of Chef Boyardee. As the American Eagle, nest in high places. But some won't move out of their parents' basements. The end? Oh. The barn owl sometimes nests in a hollow tree trunk. Next to his neighbor, Henrietta the Pussycat. Sleeps at home during the day. Oh sweet, you got an Atari? Barn owls are rarely seen, although they are found throughout most of the United States. Found but not seen. We just sort of feel them while moving our hands around blindfolded. They usually hunt their prey under cover of night. Out of the night when the full moon is bright comes a barn, barn owl known as like Barn Owl. Are set so that it can look in only one direction without moving its head. Once they move their head, they can look Backstreet Boys. The barn owl has canines. It has canines? It can see mice or other prey at great distances. It can even see that they're taking the hobbits to Isengard. It's highly sensitive ears. Hey, you're burying the lead can that it has fingers. Of a field mouse far away. So it's got fantastic vision and fantastic hearing? Jeez, what a Mary Sue. Have a soft fringe. Just like the top of Curly Such Surrey. make no noise in flight. Thus, the prey has no warning. All the cute critters are doomed. Enjoying the film, the children? That is clearly a baby Skeksis. And quite helpless. Later, a white down appears. A white down, not to be confused with an Olympus fallen. The mother barn owl starts sitting as soon as she lays the first egg. But even then, her shift lead tries to force her to stand. Is 12 days older than the smallest. That's the way they all became the barn owl bunch. Baby barn owls are always hungry. Yeah, so am I. Baby barn owls aren't special. Ugh, the clacking of the Tiki Room animatronics is drowning out the music. When half-grown, the young still have the downy white coat. Made of Dalmatians. Later, wing feathers appear. And also the head feathers. The head feathers connect to the, the wing feathers. Seven again, a few days later. Is this the real life? When six to eight weeks old, barn owl young are ready to leave the nest. Yeah, it's easy when you're not saddled with student loan debt. The great horned owl. From the black cauldron? Found in all parts of North and South America the year round. No matter how many times you ask them to leave. The ear tufts resemble horns. Hence the name, Great Horned Owl. So we're just listening to this guy read the encyclopedia. Large, powerful, and ferocious. Ferocious? Well, gee, Hosaphat. The cactus is also horned. Roll with us here. It is often called the Tiger of the Air. Tiger of the Air, Chicken of the Sea, Narwhal of the Cliffside, Water Buffalo of the Surface of Jupiter. Has hatched its two young in an old abandoned hawk nest. All birds of prey believe in squatters' rights. Here in the southwest... Seats aren't assigned and the flight attendants tell bad jokes. often catch rabbits to feed their young. Oh no, Bean, Oswald, Bugs, Roger, Fiverr, run for it! Is that owl winking at me? Even Buy me a drink first. They are ever on the alert for dangers. If a stranger approaches... Starring Charles Durning. ...lowers and spreads its wings as if ready to attack. This owl would later teach everyone else in the Hundred Acre Wood how to be too smart for strangers. The screech owl is found in all parts of the United States. Stalking the Lisa Turtle Owl. Grandmother Willow? This one has a nest in a hollow fir tree. 
Its plumage matches the bark. So does the plumage match the bark? In this picture, there are 40 screech owls. They cannot be seen. The baby screech owl has a coat of down. A coat of down, 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 down. It is well feathered. Every fade to black gives me a tiny bit of hope, and every fade back in crushes it. The snowy owl. Companion of the Tintin Owl, the called the Milu Owl in the original Belgian. Only during severe winters do these owls go southward as far as the United States. What does an owl consider and severe? Really only as far as the northern states. They're really only interested in seeing the Mall of America. The snowy owl is white, except for dark marking. Listen, film, no matter how much you tempt me with owls and dark marks, I refuse to make a Harry Potter the joke. The vulture is a scavenger. Feeding mainly on That's not place. turkey vulture. That's emu vulture. Often seen circling high in the sky above a carcass. But only one specific carcass. Can you guess whose? The young turkey vulture has a white coat of down. Seen it. Which is later replaced by black feathers. And all the fans rant on Twitter about the redesign. During summer, turkey vultures are found throughout most of the United States, but they move southward in winter. Yeah, that one up there moved all the way south to Ohio. Meanwhile, in the same country... The black vulture is found only in the southeastern United States and south. South by Southeast, directed by Nega Alfred the Hitchcock. The vulture also is a scavenger. Look, this will go faster if you just list things that are different about these birds. Head and upper neck are bear. It's a bear, too? What is this Dr. Moreau crap? The young black vultures have coats of gray down. But this will be replaced by black feathers when they are three months old. And finally, they can live up to their name. Nominative determinism wins out. The sparrowhawk is one of the smallest hawks. Well, I figured if they're not calling it the mammoth hawk. Turkey vulture, sparrowhawk, seagull parrot, let's mash them all up. The sparrowhawk nests throughout the United States and Canada, but many migrate to southern United States and as far south as Central America in winter. Central America? What, like Nebraska? The sparrowhawk commonly nests in a hollow tree. Some of these eggs were later thrown at Michael Eisner in France. This sparrowhawk has just hatched. Let's bother it. Feathers appear as it grows older, but the brightly colored feathers do not appear until the second year. It's got to fulfill its freshman prereqs before it gets approved for brightly colored feathers. Man, can you believe this? Am I the only one seeing this? Come on, people. The marsh hawk. Fluffy puff marsh hawk. Feeds in marshes throughout the northern and western parts of the United States and north to the Arctic Circle. The winter home extends from the United States to South America. We could show you a map of South America to demonstrate, but we're not sure what it looks like. During the nesting season, the parents are busy providing food. The children demand McDonald's, but the parents insist they have food at home. Oop, almost lost my balance there. These talons are great for grabbing, less great for standing. Marsh hawks live almost entirely on field mice. But they occasionally enjoy a city mouse. The mother holds the mouse in her claws and with her beak tears the flesh. Uh, hey kids, Mickey went to live on a farm upstate, but he's still under copyright for the next 150 years. The legged hawk winters almost entirely within the boundaries of the United States, but in summer migrates northward to nest in Canada. Just because the warmer it gets, the more they really crave Tim Hortons. The rough-legged hawk sometimes nests on a high cliff. Who gave Clavin weed? A brood usually consists of three or four young. These young are nearly grown. And these olds are still pretty young. Who needs labels? The parent birds often bring rabbits or squirrels to the nest. But when food is scarce, they may attack other birds. This is turning into an avian TMZ. Are tearing apart the remains of a sparrowhawk. Take that, sparrowhawk. That's what you get for shoehorning yourself into the Hawks of the Caribbean ride. The red-tailed hawk is found in all parts of the United States. Especially your attic. In mountainous country, the red-tailed hawk often nests on a high ledge.
where it spends its free time pretending to be Batman. There, now this is a proper Birds of Prey short. The red-tailed hawk preys largely on small animals, including snakes and fish. This bird eats Satan and Jesus, total religious anarchy. Two months after hatching, these young red tails are nearly full grown, and they are learning to fly. Thank God they're not being taught by Raoul. Been a while since we've heard from the eagles, so I guess they're busy taking the ring to Mordor. <laughs> okay, I guess the filmmakers had to cut this short before they just started throwing baby birds off of a cliff. And yeah, still more closure than DC gave their Birds of Prey franchise. Boy, who knew how many Birds of Prey there were? At least four, with subcategories within those four that sound... Almost distinct, since my bird brain self can only focus so much during a slow educational short like this, I would like to thank my patrons for joining me on a couple of live streams, pointing out so many joke opportunities that I might otherwise have missed. And as they so often do, my patrons help me find so much material that I couldn't fit it all in the final riff. So you can see several alternate and deleted jokes from both this and last week's riff on Patreon right now, link in the description. Also on Patreon, you can see next week's video, a D-list where we're ranking every movie theme song written by a certain someone who is, perhaps not technically the best, but arguably the most famous accordion player in an extremely specific genre of music. May all your feathers shine brightly, and until next week, this is Dave, signing off.